What's good with y'all? It's your boy Spiritual Zen, and I'm back with another video, man. How y'all doing, man? You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys are taking care of yourself as always. You know what I'm saying? But, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I've been off for like a week now. You know what I'm saying? But it's whatever, bro. That shit don't matter. As long as you guys are taking care of yourself, that's all that matters, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't need no spiritual niggas on your tail or niggas that think they know shit telling y'all what to do with your life, man. You got to figure your life out already by now, man. You got to know what you want to do for yourself. You got to know what you want to do for yourself and for your life or else, man. Niggas is going to take advantage of you, bro. Bro, you got to realize, bro, this world is a fucking business, man. Everything is, is a business move, bro. Not anyone can... Bro, you will never get free advice or free tips on how to be successful or how to improve your life, bro. Everyone, all these spiritual niggas that are doing this shit, they're all doing the same thing. Which is getting their own sort of money out of it. Which is, I have nothing against that, you know what I'm saying? I respect that shit, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, niggas gotta eat, bro. You feel me? So, y'all gotta realize that a lot of spiritual YouTubers really like, bro... We don't like it's it's hard for us bro it's really hard being a spiritual youtuber because it's a lot of bots in this world and it's a lot of people that don't respect themselves enough you know what i'm saying so it's always gonna be a trial and tribulation between the people that want knowledge and the people that think they got knowledge you feel me <clears throat> so <clears throat> As a lot of people been saying, bro, for you to know, for you to know everything, you gotta know nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta be open to everything, bro. People gotta start destroying their ego. People gotta start destroying their pride. Because pride is one of the biggest killers in this world, bro. It's pride and ego. Ugh. And I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I do got some. I still got ego within me, bro. <clears throat> One thing that I've noticed about myself is that I've started studying myself, and I started realizing that I know that at certain times, you know, when whenever like let's say you wanna approach a girl or someone insults you or you see something that kind of reminds you of your past, and then you get this certain fear within you, bro. You know that, that fear, bro, you can control that shit. You can actually control the fear that you put in your body. It's just that you just got to put yourself in the right mindset, bro. You got to destroy all types of fear, bro. People are scared to die because they've been programmed for so long. People are scared to approach girls because they've been programmed for so long. Bro, listen. You have been programmed. Listen, you have been programmed, my nigga. Your whole life, I've been programmed too. All the spiritual YouTubers you watch have been programmed too. You know what I'm saying? We've all been programmed our whole life. That's the reason why we got fear within us. One thing that I'm going to tell you guys that a lot of people might not tell y'all is that, listen, we, but some of y'all might know this, some of y'all might not know, you know what I'm saying? But we are not supposed to have fear. There, there's no such thing as fear. You know what I'm saying? There is no such thing as happiness. There is no such thing as cool. There is no such thing as lame. There is no such thing as popularity. There is no such thing as materialism. There is no such thing as fame. There is no such thing as... As... What else can I say? Cockiness or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? That is all negativity used to brainwash you, bro. The only thing that there is is peace and love. That's the only thing we're supposed to be living by in this world. Peace and love. There's not supposed to be haters... Judging people, let alone, bro, that is the lowest, bro. That is the lowest point of fucking frequency you could ever be, my guy. If you judge a person, let's say an ugly ass female or ugly ass male would walk by and you would just, in your thoughts, even, not even by saying it to people, just in your thoughts and saying, yo, that girl ugly as fuck. That is a fucking lover. You are fucking bot, then. Let me tell you what a definition of a bot. Since a lot of people be throwing in a lot. Some nigga called me a bot the other day, man. But it's whatever. Listen, man. The definition of a bot. A bot is a human being that is in the lowest frequency possible, bro. Example, bro. I just made one, actually. I'm not even going to say it, bro. Like, shit like that. When you judge people off of... 
looks when you judge people when you like just judging bro when you're judging another person that is a low form of vibration my nigga that's a bot another um example of a bot is a bot is someone that is ignorant bro someone that does not want to fill their mind with knowledge someone that got ego someone that always feels like they better than others someone that always is selfish that's a bot you know what i'm saying someone that lets other people think for them he doesn't think for himself that's a bot right there my nigga one thing that you don't want to be is a bot in this world bro because bots are the same people that are literally out here being used as clones out here being used as experiments for all these motherfucking things that they trying to do to this earth you feel me they, those are bots the people that are in the news are bots most of the celebrities are bots um a lot of people that you be in school with the bots there's a lot of bots everywhere bro that's why they creating robots because it's the new world order you know what i'm saying they creating robots because bro i was watching this other um music video of this other rapper bro and it was like um well let me shout him out fuck it i fuck with his music ghost main that's the name of his um that's the name of the nigga um What's the name of that song? I think the name of the song is... I can't remember, bro, but just go look it up. Um, What's the name of that song? I don't know, man. Y'all gonna have to look it up, man. But it's by Ghostman. It's, it's, it's based on this other cartoon character. And not even a cartoon character, but some type of anim animation. And this guy is literally lost in this certain world. And then they busy like cloning like some sort sort of people that he's with. They clo they're cloning some sort of people and they turning them into bots. And nigga decided to escape, bro. It's it's a it's a dope ass music video. I fuck with it. But escape this world, bro. Escape the matrix, man. Escape the fucking matrix, bro. Get on your shit. Start doing your own thing, bro. Start focusing on yourself, my nigga. On a real, bro. No one is going to. The only person that can actually give you an awakening or some sort of different type of perspective my nigga is yourself no one else bro i could come here every day and tell you how to live your life but it still wouldn't work if you don't take in the actions and just do it yourself you know what i'm saying so you just gotta be able you just gotta be in tune with yourself you gotta be in tune with yourself at all times and get off social media bro get off social media and um you know what I'm saying? One thing that I'm going to say is like, you know, you could get with people, but the best advice I could give you is that stay away from negative people as much as you can. Stay away from bots. Stay away from people that lower your vibration, bro. Because bro, every time, one thing that you got to know is that every time you, your vibration lowers, bro, that's every time your fucking greatness is tested. You know what I'm saying? Your strength is tested, bro. Every time you feel this certain fear or th those negative vibes, that gut feeling, man, you better listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's trying to tell you something. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's trying to tell you something. You would know what is right and wrong because that's why you got a gut feeling. Your gut feeling is your real fucking... That's like a fucking... That's your, that's your master, bro. That's your everything, my guy. You just got to listen to yourself and start working on yourself. You're gonna be straight, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get outside, bro. It's getting hot as hell out here in South Africa. I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I ain't even got no top. That's why I ain't even got no shirt on, because it's fucking hot. I've been shirtless for a couple of days, my guy. You know? Just working, man. Working. You see the backyard? I mean, the front yard. This ain't the backyard, it's the front yard. Looking good. I might fuck around. Have a picnic with myself, man. That's some real shit, man. It looks so good, man. I might have a picnic by myself. I, I was I was planning on sun gazing on some other shit, but maybe later, bro. But the sun is just so fucking hot, bro. Even sun gazing, my nigga, could fuck you up, cause my nigga so fucking hot to the point where this shit can burn you, bro. Like, shit is getting real, bro. Like I'm telling you, my nigga, shit is getting fucking real, bro. But thank God it's summer out here. It's been winter. That's why in my early, um, older videos I was wearing jackets and stuff. It was winter out here. But now it's summer and it's getting hot as fuck, my nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? I might not drop as much. I might be doing more. 
you know what I'm saying, spiritual work since, you know, the summer is the perfect time for spiritual work because this when nature is outside and the sun is beaming, you feel me, like energy, come on now. The sun is out there, my nigga, make sure you get that shit before they block that shit permanently in the few coming years because they might fuck around and do that shit because the sun is the only thing that is real right now. The clouds, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but the sun is... The only source of energy that you could depend on as a human being, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I was just checking up on y'all, seeing what the fuck was going on. Hopefully, you guys is taking care of yourself. And without further ado, man, spiritual zen signing out, man. Peace.